Before start, if possible, print a self-test page from the control panel. If the paper is being picked up from the tray, this tells you if the paper transport mechanism is working. Test pages will also usually show information about accessories, number of printed pages, installed options, and so on. Look at the colors of the printout. Search for black or white lines. Check if there are repetitive defects. A multiple page document will test the separation pad and the feed rollers. If the printer feeds in multiple pages, is because the separation pad is not getting enough traction on the paper. Sometimes, cleaning is enough to fix that. The feed rollers help feed paper through the printer. Usually, they have a lightly textured rubber tire. When the texture wears off the tire, it can slip and cause paper jams. Some old printers may not work with newer operating systems, as Windows 10. So, you may end up buying a used printer that is useless to you. Go to the download section of the manufacturer's website and check if the printer has a driver available for your operating system. It's important to know what type of cartridge the printer uses. Determine the cost of the cartridge, and if the printer's cartridges are still being manufactured, or if there are compatible, or recycled cartridges available. Some not widespread printers only have original cartridges, so your cost per page will be higher, and it will be harder, and more expensive, to find a cartridge, if they are not widely available. Look at the connection type. Is there an USB connection? Old printers may have Centronics connection, difficult to use in a new computer. Remember, that old printers may not offer any type of wireless or Bluetooth networking. Does the printer come with all the components? Drum, transfer belt, toner waste container, special power adapter, if needed. Are the consumables near the end of their life? Look at the drum. Is there any damage? Is it worn out? The cost of a new drum may be not so far from the cost of a new printer. Determine which connector cords and cables are not included. Then, determine if the cords are available. Not all older cords are easy to find. The fusers are electrical heating rollers that fuse the toner powder onto the paper. After thousands of pages, fusers can wear out and its replacement may be very expensive. Look at the fuser rollers, check if they are worn out. Check if there are lines or other defects on the surface of the rollers. Once you decide to buy a used printer, you need know where to buy it. Is there a warranty? Is the seller affordable? Don't forget to figure any delivery costs into the final price. Printers are heavy.